Rockstar Games tries to keep a lot of what they do a secret, and they do this so that when they do release their masterpieces, these amazing titles that we get to play like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, that for the most part, it's a surprise and we get to enjoy everything, uh, seeing it for the very first time without leaks and without spoilers. Now, knowing the way things have transpired over the last couple of months and years, specifically with Grand Theft Auto 6, we know that that is not always true, although Rockstar does try their best to, again, keep things a secret. However, there's just some things that they cannot keep in the shadows, like how much money they end up making and the positions that they're actually hiring for. And it's that topic today that we're actually going to take a look at that kind of reveals what Rockstar might be up to and also suggesting that GTA 6 will come out sooner rather than later, at least in the year 2025. So Rockstar Games published a new job post for Rockstar Lincoln, Quality Assurance, and release management, a localization tester for Russian, and it's a fixed term 12 months. So both of those things are actually important here. The fact that Rockstar is already doing localization testing is huge. And I know some of you guys might be asking, what's Rockstar Lincoln? I thought that would be Rockstar North or Rockstar New York handling this. Now, Lincoln is one of their newer and smaller studios, but just like all major Rockstar games, especially when they're in the final stages of development, it's really all hands on deck from every single studio. So I would imagine Rockstar North, Rockstar San Diego, Rockstar Toronto, Rockstar Lincoln, they're all pitching in in some way, shape, or form to get GTA 6 out the door. And essentially what video game localization is, is the process of producing video game content for a specific region and doing it like it was made for that region originally. So for example, that might be the game's name, its art assets, packaging, manuals, cultural and legal differences. These things are sometimes altered and have to be changed depending on what country you're in and based on the different rules and regulation that country might actually have. It's a process that Rockstar Games has to do. It's probably a pain in the butt, but if they want to sell it to countries that maybe don't speak English or have different cultural processes and rules and regulations, they have to do this in order to get the game in as many different hands as possible. And so because that requires altering things like the game's name, art assets, manuals, etc., this typically happens at the very end of a video game being produced which is good news for Grand Theft Auto 6 because it looks like that means Rockstar is closing in on completing the game. Now, the other thing that's interesting here is the fact that this is a fixed term for 12 months. That's kind of what I mentioned earlier that Rockstar can't keep some things in the shadows. If they're going to hire someone, they have to let them know that this is only for a one year long position. And that would make sense because once they have localized everything for the Russian language and for Russia, they don't really have a purpose. Once all the voice acting is done, once all the cutscenes are completed, once all the art assets and marketing is done, they really don't have a purpose, which is why they're only staying for one year. And what's also interesting is in the description section for responsibility, it states perform localization QA to ensure the final product quality is as high as possible. So this sort of position is only working on GTA 6 when it's in the final product. Once again, this is really good news. And so what I believe this means, and we've also reported on data coming from Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, as well regarding this, is that Grand Theft Auto 6 looks to be set to coming out in the early part of 2025, possibly around March or April. At a latest, it's looking like around May. Because if you think about it, if Rockstar is hiring for this position and it's 12 months long, that means they would be done by around this time, February or March. Because it just doesn't make sense. Rockstar wouldn't hire a essentially a language tester just for them to leave in March of 2025 and then ultimately have the game release in late 2025, as the game would probably need a bit more testing by then. Now, it's not to say there won't be a delay or that it won't slip into late 2025, but at least as things currently stand, it looks on track to arrive in early 2025, which again is really good news for all of us that are just fans of GTA and want to get our hands on Grand Theft Auto 6 as soon as possible. 
Now, just to play devil's advocate, a one-year contract isn't something that is completely rare. We see it in sports all the time. Your favorite footballer or soccer star might be playing on a team for just a year. You also see that in other sports like NBA, etc. So this isn't something that's totally out of the blue. Rockstar could also probably renew that person if there was indeed a delay. So I don't think it's a guarantee, but this does have some weight to it. And since we're on the subject of Rockstar Games hiring people, as you guys know, late last week, they actually made the announcement that they were going to be making all of their employees return to the office starting in April. Well, there was a little bit more follow up to this from industry insiders and reputable people in the community. And Tez Funds too kind of had an interest interesting stance on this. Someone said, all this talk of promises and commitments, yet apparently not one of the new starters in the past few years who expected to be allowed to work from home bothered to get this in their employment contract. Sounds idiotic to me. And he said, it is idiotic from one perspective, but if you look at it from another perspective, they aren't the ones who are needed. They are the ones who need to work there because you would be working at Rockstar Games the pinnacle of the industry, and on Grand Theft Auto 6, the most anticipated game. So bragging in front of your future employer, telling them, listen here, bozos, if I can't get a lifetime guarantee of work from home in my contract, I ain't working. Then you can expect to be instantly tossed, and the other 99 starters will be more than happy to replace you. So you don't exactly have bargaining power there and don't want to give them a reason to reject you. So essentially what he's saying here is Rockstar has no real obligation to give employees sort of that bonus of saying, hey, we can guarantee you to work from home. It is in their opinion that working in the office is better for Rockstar and better for Grand Theft Auto 6. And if one employee basically says, you know what, I don't like that, what he's essentially saying is there's going to be 99 other employees lined up out the door that are just as talented that want to replace you. And it's because you get to work at Rockstar Games. You get to work on Grand Theft Auto 6. That's really the peak of the peak as far as the video game industry. And even smaller time positions like this localization testing, at least for Russian languages, I don't even know how you would apply to something like that. Uh, obviously, you would have to know Russian and be fluent in that language. But still, accepting a job like that would mean that you can say, I have worked on Grand Theft Auto 6, and I played a role in making this game come to life, which for many is something that is irreplaceable, and they would go to an office to make something like that happen. But anyways, I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below on this new Rockstar Games localization job position, suggesting that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be released within the next 12 months, which kind of means early 2025, as compared to like mid or late 2025, which would just be absolutely fantastic. But of course, let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.